Today, I want to share with you my tips or most likely what I do to become invisible on the street. But the best part is that you can actually adjust and reshape these tips in order to fit your needs, your focal length, but mostly your personality. When it comes to street photography, there are two main categories of people. Photographer who wants to get noticed and make the viewer feel their presence and photographers who want the exact opposite aiming to capture the most candid moment possible. I feel like I'm in the middle of these two because I do like when people look directly into the camera because I think it can give a very strong boost to a photo. However, I tend to prefer being invisible. Therefore, these are my tips on how you can do it too. First off, dress as simply as possible. Avoid any ads, big backpacks, big earphones, anything that can draw attention. Sticking to neutral colors like black or white or gray do a lot of the work here. Personally, I've been wearing black since I was like 12, so it's not a problem at all for me, but that's another story. Wearing bright colors like red or green or yellow can make you stand out in the crowd, which is the opposite of what we want to do here. Keep in mind that gears matters to avoid big zoom chunky lenses and go for something smaller, but mostly less noticeable. Here is where the things are getting serious, because one of the most important things to be invisible on the street is to be confident. Confidence is the key. If you look embarrassed or are comfortable, people will notice, and this will magnify your awkwardness. Your goal is to take in picture. Just focus on that instead of what people may think of you, because trust me, they are too focused on themselves to be aware of you having a camera. Work with purpose and keep your camera ready. When you move with confidence, people are less likely to question your presence there. So, because practice makes perfect, the more you shoot, the more natural and confident you will become. Just remember and keep in mind that you are a photographer and you are not doing anything wrong. So just don't act like a weirdo because people are gonna notice it. Speaking of confidence, when you're out there taking picture, a great trick is to walk past your subject. When taking a picture of someone walking towards you, keep your camera up and just drive by. This makes seem like your photography something behind them, drastically reduce the chance of being stopped by people, or to make them feel uncomfortable at all. This technique works so well because it diverts away the attention from your subject. Make them feel like you're shooting something behind them, like a building or a tree or something like that. Simply not them. Keep your movement smooth and natural and you will be like a rock on the street. Does someone even remember that the Raymond episode? Moving on, another crucial aspect of being invisible on the street is to fade away once you take the shot. If you stay in the same area, checking if you got the shot, trying again with different subjects, people will start to be suspicious and will slowly realize that you actually photographed them. You can always return to the same spot later if needed, because if you stay too long, people are gonna notice you and be aware of you having a camera. By moving on, you maintain your invisibility and can continue capture candid moment without interruption. Think of it like a ninja move. Snap and vanish. Before we're getting into the two most important behaviors of how to be invisible on the street, if you made this far, it will be great if you subscribe to the channel. This will help me bring you more and more valuable content and grow this project, so it's like a win-win condition. Now let's talk about the kindness. Kindness goes a long way. If someone notices you and asks to delete the photo, smile and explain what you're doing. If they insist, just delete it. This not only avoid any potential trouble, but also show respect and kindness for people. Being kind and respectful can turn a potentially negative situation into a positive one. Most of the time, people will not care anything about you taking the picture, but if so, just don't be rude. Finally, let's discuss the most important thing and the most powerful tool to be unnoticed on the street, which is shooting from the hip. 
This technique is an incredibly powerful tool that we have as a photographer. You're not lifting your camera. How can you even take a picture? You can speak with someone and take a picture, look into another direction and take a picture. Having eye contact with your subject and take a picture without having them notice a single thing. That's fantastic. I'm actually writing down an episode only focused on shooting from the hip. So be sure to come back because you don't want to miss this. Anyway, for now, in order to master shooting from the hip, you have to know very well your focal length. I'd say if you're shooting wide angle lens, it's easier. But if you, like me, enjoy shooting with a longer focal length, you have to know very well the field of view of your lens in order to properly take the shot. Shooting from the hip allows you to capture a candid moment without even have to raise your camera up to your eyes. And this sometimes can be the only way you can take a shot. Mastering this technique surely takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and work. But once you're able to do that, it will be a valuable skill for any street photographers. So guys, this is exactly what I actually do all the time in order to be invisible on the street. Hope that helps, but mostly I'll leave you some link in the description where, yes, you can find me on IG, you can see my portfolio and everything else, but mostly some of my street POVs where you can find all of these techniques actually in the making. You can see me using the... I don't know how to say it, but I think you get the point. So, subscribe for more, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.